The Great Western Woodlands is a magnificent part of Western Australia. Recently recognised as internationally significant, it is the largest intact temperate woodland in the world. Our woodland birds depend on the Great Western Woodlands for their survival. The Great Western Woodlands is largely flat, open country, interspersed with vast granite outcrops. There are also extensive banded ironstone formation ranges in the northwest, as well as an array of salt lakes scattered throughout the landscape. From the high points in the Great Western Woodlands, there are breathtaking 360 degree views of eucalypt woodlands set amongst the sand plains, supporting the mallee, shrublands and heaths that extend all the way to the horizon. The magic of the eucalypt woodlands, like the salmon gums and gimlets, is an unforgettable experience. It is quite remarkable that these trees occur in this country at all, given the low rainfall and nutrient poor soils. There are at least 214 species of birds known in the Great Western Woodlands. Birds distinctive to these woodlands are the chestnut quail thrush, the Gilbert's Whistler, Rufus Tree Creeper, the Purple Crowned Lorikeets, and the eastern subspecies of the Western Rosella. There are also the often numerous and noisy 12 or so honey eater species, some of which are sedentary, while others are nomadic, following the availability of nectar. The timing and abundance of flowering is dependent on rainfall patterns. In Western Australia, eucalypt woodlands once spanned an area from the Nullarbor to the Darling Range. As a result of clearing for agriculture in the wheat belt, these woodlands have been reduced to an area of just 500 by 400 kilometres. Although still a large area of 16 million hectares, the Great Western Woodlands is now effectively an island with few connections to other eucalypt woodlands of any kind. With the clearing of woodlands in the wheat belt, many woodland bird species were observed to decline and some to effectively disappear. Declines in bird species were observed as early as the 1930s and 1950s. The purple crowned lorikeet, once present as large flocks, had all but gone. The rufous tree creeper and ground cuckoo shrike were reported to have disappeared forever. In 2000, eight bird species in the western wheat belt that also occur in the Great Western Woodlands were listed as near threatened by the Australian Government Department of Environment. These were the crested bellbird, rufous field wren, white browed babbler, crested shrike tit, shy heath wren, barking owl, bush stone curlew and Australian Bustard. By 2005, it was estimated that 60% of the woodland bird species in the wheat belt of Western Australia were in decline. The yellow-plumed honey eater had largely disappeared from the central wheat belt, and the Gilbert's whistler was no longer present. The remnants of vegetation left after clearing were unable to support these birds. In Western Australia, we have the opportunity to ensure that the vegetation of the Great Western Woodlands remains intact and continues to support our woodland birds. 
BirdLife Australia, in partnership with the Nature Conservancy, recognise the enormous significance of the great western woodlands to woodland birds. The Birds of the Great Western Woodlands project was born in 2012, when volunteers were asked to venture out to nine remote survey areas to conduct bird surveys. These bird surveys document where the different bird species occur, how abundant they are, and what they need to continue flourishing. Over the last three years, volunteers have been central to the success of this project. They have conducted over 2,000 bird surveys, travelling many kilometres and dedicating their time and expertise, while experiencing its beauty and impressive biodiversity. 181 bird species were recorded from 2012 to 2014. Most bird species appeared to be stable in the great western woodlands. The rufous tree creeper needs gimlet woodlands greater than 150 years old to nest in. Six species of bird were more likely to occur in long unburnt country greater than 200 years old. By contrast, the weebill and grey fantail were less likely to occur. Fires have burnt almost 40% of the Great Western Woodlands in the past 40 years, mainly in the sand plain country, including the Mallee, Heath and Shrublands. Although fire is a natural part of the ecology of these vegetation types, it is the scale of the fires that are of concern, as they often cover thousands of hectares. The bird surveys are planned to continue to 2024, as it is rare for any two years to have the same rainfall. Baseline data on the woodland birds can assist management decisions to maintain the integrity of the vegetation of the great western woodlands. To broaden our horizons, an intact Great Western Woodlands will provide a safe haven for our woodland birds and a legacy of wild places for future generations. Be part of the Great Western Woodlands bird surveys. Register with the project to stay informed and help us spread the word.